What's up, everybody? Um, first off, let me hit y'all with some news real quick, just in case y'all don't know. Um, Steve Burton. I don't know if y'all read the tweet that he sent out, but it was a funny ass tweet, so I gotta mention it. Um, he has a new job. Go figure, he has a new job. So there is life after General Hospital, I guess. He got a new job. Um, of course, it's not gonna be televised, of course. He's the new substitute head coach for his son's football game, for his son's football team. He said that he was up all night, didn't sleep a wink. He was uh, going through plays and stuff for a flag football team. That shit had me rolling. Congratulations to him. Because you know what? I know that family is very important to him, and I know this is something that he's been wanting to do for a long time. You know, just spend some more time with his kids, and I'm proud of that you know because more fathers need to do that and he's taking the time out to you know because general hospital is actually something that he loved but he loves it's good to know that he loves his family a hell of a lot more and i'm proud of that even though you know jason is gone it's fucked up but i did see the picture on twitter that people was telling me about how they the cast um and the crew had on black t-shirts and jeans and stuff like that. I was so laughing my ass off at that picture. I was like, that was nice as fuck. That was so nice. Um, in other news, quick news. The girl who played Georgie, Georgie Jones, Maxie Jones' sister that died a few years ago. Apparently now she's engaged. Her uh, fiance proposed to her at Disney World, I think. On, on a ride, he had a big ass sign up that said "Marry Me." That shit was so funny. I seen it on soapsanddev.com, ABC. Um, so congratulations to her. Um, anyway, now let's get on with this crazy ass show. Today was a blockbuster episode. I love today's episode. Okay, who the fuck do I start with up here? Because you already know I'm about to get in somebody ass. But let me just say this first and foremost. Hell has no fury like the wrath of Carly Corinthos scorn. Let me tell you, when she's, oh my God. I pray that her and Johnny are officially over. Because I think deep down, Carly feels like this marriage, I mean, not this marriage, but this relationship that she was in with Johnny was bullshit. It was a fucking joke. I even felt it. I told, if you watch all my videos that let, you know, from the time that they were dating, you would hear me say I was never on board with their relationship. I always laughed at their relationship because to me it was always a fucking joke. Um, Carly and Johnny, there was no build up to their relationship. First of all, he's been on the show for like, what, five years now? They were never friends. They were pretty much passing acquaintance. They were acquaintances, pretty much. You know, they seen each other or, or whatever. They bumped into each other, but they never really had no conversations until last year or two years ago or whatever when Michael wanted to join the organization. So Carly and Johnny had no build up to their relationship. They were never friends. To me, I just felt like their relationship was lust. It was just it wasn't no love between them. It was all lust. Sex. That's about it. They are completely boring together. I never was on board with this bullshit ass relationship. She could do much better. I mean, come on. Carly has the pick of the litter. She could get Jax back anytime she want. I know she could because, you know, Carly got that magic pussy. So, you know, she could get Jax and Sonny and them back anytime she wants. She could get Sonny back into anytime she wants because, you know, they fuck like Jack Rabbits whenever they get all depressed and shit. So, you know, she could have him back. She could have Sean, but, she, you know, she's going to have to fight Alexis for her, for him. And she could have Todd right now, even though she just literally smacked the holy shit out of him on this episode. But I get to that in a minute. Um, Star, why do Todd not like Michael? I don't understand that. Why Todd don't like Michael? I think Michael's cool. I I I I, I always liked the Michael Corinthos character. He was a brat sometimes, but you know, Michael, that's my boy. So I don't get why Todd always call him a little creep or something like that. Michael is a hell of a lot better than Cole Thornhart. Let me tell you, when I watched One Life to Live, Cole Thornhart character wasn't nothing but a major fuck up. That's all Cole ever did was screw up. How many times did Bo, John, and Nora bend the law to get him out of jail? The only time they couldn't bend the law is when he got when he shot Eli Clark and got that 10-year sentence. Even then they bent the law because for murder, you're supposed to get probably 25 to life. Cole only got 10 years. Way to go, Nora. Knights are holding the law. 
anyway. Star and Todd, I love their relationship. It's so tight and close. I love it. Um, there's some fucking cat or something making some noise outside my window. It's distracting me right now because it's loud as fuck. I hate animals. They get on my nerves. Or that fucking duck noise. That shit aggravating. But anyway. Um, I'm about to go outside and commit a 187 on a fucking cat if that bitch don't shut up out there. I'm fucking sick of cats. Anyway, let me stop. Um, what was I about to say? I done lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I like Todd and Star relationship, but I already know it's going to be altered when she find out what he did. But I know a way. Todd, I already know he's not going to go to jail. There's a, there, I read a spoiler where John McBain was trying to make Todd pay. He was going to make Todd pay. John McBain, go sit the fuck down. You look like, what's that guy name that was on the show four years ago? Eli Love. Eli Love. Remember, he he um was the was the twin of uh, Noah Drake, I think his name was. You know, Patrick Father. Remember Eli Love in 2008 when Robin was pregnant? And they was all in the hospital and um, he was denying the kid that the lady said that was his son. Don't John McBain kind of look like Eli Love? Well, a.k.a. Patrick Drake's father. He looked just like him. Um, anyway, I just had to throw that out because their hairstyle is like similar to each other. Like Eli Love had that whole rock and roll shit going. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's a blast from the past. I just had to mention that because I was watching General Hospital 2008 episodes earlier. That shit brought a flashback. Um, anyway, yeah. Why the fuck did John McBain... You know what was funny? Like, when he was on the phone calling the LPD for backup or whatever, he um, mentioned Oliver... You remember Oliver Fish from One Life to Live? The gay guy, him and Kyle Lewis. And he had Sierra Rose, Stacy's daughter. I thought he fucking left One Life to Live. Remember in 2010, you know, they dropped off Canvas and stuff like that. You never even seen him again at the LPD. When the fuck did he come back to land and start working for the LPD? And who the fuck is in charge of the LPD? John McBain been in Port Charles for months. Bo got fired when the show went off. So who the fuck is running the shit? So what the inmates run? That's why they got so many dirty cops over there. They ain't got no leadership in that bitch. The fuck? Bo need to get his ass back up in there or something. John need to take his ass back to Landview because I'm like, who the fuck is running y'all police department? I thought, do not fuck up the LPD because the LPD was way better than PCPD. Let me just say that. At least they closed their cases. But, um, anyway. Why didn't Taya ever look up Susan Moore? How come she never looked up Susan Moore on the internet? Come on, Taya. You slipping. You smart. You went to law school. You got a law degree, girl. Search. Shit. Everybody know the bitch Susan Moore died. The fuck? Anyway, I am so sick of mentioning Edward Quartermain's name and not revealing that he's dead. Like, to me, it's it's like disrespect to John Engel. Like, because it's been a few, it's been a week. It's been weeks since he died. I'm like, when are they going to mention his death? Like, Seriously, get that man a proper funeral and a tribute. I read a spoiler. I think it's supposed to his funeral is supposed to be coming up soon. I think it says something about a beloved character, a patriarch. They bid farewell to a patriarch. I know they're not talking about Jason. So my guess is it's going to be in a couple weeks, I guess. Hopefully, because I just get all misty eyed and sad when they mention Edward name and they make and they make it sound like he's still alive. Like I'm like, damn. Anyway. Joe Jr. is such a fucking liar, yo. He just get on my nerves. Like, come on now. Sonny was going to fucking shoot you or have his boy shoot you. Why would they shoot you in the shoulder? Do that make any sense? When Sonny and his people shoot people, they shoot to kill, motherfucker. They shoot you point blank in the chest. They would not shoot you in the shoulder, in the shoulder area. Why would they shoot you there knowing that you're going to survive? That's stupid. And in the warehouse? Are you kidding me? Your body would have been somewhere buried next to Claudia Zakara or somebody in the Pine Barrens. Fool. Such an idiot. Don't you think that the Pine Barrens are getting a little crowded nowadays? Like, seriously, with all the bodies they got? Well, it's big, so maybe Jimmy Hoffa was buried there. Anyway, I'll let Sonny tell that story one day. Um. Anyway. Jason, Sam, I need y'all back together for crying out loud because this is starting to piss me off. I can't wait till they get JJ slash Daniel back. Okay, so when they get the baby back, 
when are they what name are they going with are they going with daniel or are they going with jj what name are y'all going with i hope they don't change that boy name i want his name to be jason morgan jr because with jason leaving we need another jason on this show i'm just saying oh i was on facebook and you know general hospital got a facebook page why did somebody post who would be they post the question who would be a better father to to jj jason or john i'm like get the fuck out of here i don't want to see no john mcbain raising jason i got a feeling that's what they probably gonna do and then when jason when when jason leave john mcbain gonna become probably a father figure to jj or something like that and he probably gonna change his name to jason mcbain or some shit like that get the fuck out of here you better take your ass back to landview and, and beg uh natalie to let you see liam motherfucker you got a son you is not taking over jason's son hell to the no I will protest the shit out of General Hospital if that happened. I swear to God, Sam better not let it happen. His name is Jason Morgan Jr. slash Daniel Morgan. Daniel Edward Morgan. That's the name. His last name will forever be Morgan. You is not adopting him. I don't give a fuck. I ain't letting that shit slide. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Anyway, Christina... Okay, this girl Lindsay Morgan who plays Christina, my God, why does she make the same faces like when she cry and when she laugh? It's like she got the same expression. Like she is just a hideous actress. I swear, go get some acting lessons, please. For the love of Christ, God, yeah, she's just fucking annoying. Um, Trey, I seen a preview of tomorrow's episode actually, and it looked like Michael was about to fuck Trey up. Michael need to calm down, like, because you can't abuse the boy in a police station. I mean, your father got power in Port Charles, but damn, not enough to be bailing you out. Just control your temper. I think Michael just need to control his temper, because if you don't, you're pushing Star more and more in the Trey's arms. You do not want to make that mistake, because mind you, Cole made that mistake with James Ford on One Life to Live. You don't want to push her in another man's direction. Got to be careful. Um... Wouldn't it be fun? I just want to throw this out there. Wouldn't it be fun if Trevor St. John was on this show as Victor Jr.? I would love it. Oh, Todd was funny as shit. I love Todd, man. Seriously, that's my favorite. He's my boy. I like Todd. That's my boy. Um, He was like, when he was talking about Sunny Wedding, he said, that's one wedding I would like to crash. I was like, right? It, that wedding made me feel like I wanted to be there. And at first, I kind of thought Kate was finally coming back. But then when she hugged Sonny and started laughing, I was like, oh, Lord, this bitch. And then when Sonny said something to Kate, I mean, Connie, um, Connie was she he said that Kate was going to beat Connie again. And Connie was sitting there. Kate was going to beat Connie again. And Connie was sitting there laughing, saying whatever helps you sleep at night. I was sitting there dying. I was like, oh, Connie is fucking comical genius on this show. I love it. I like Kelly Sullivan better get a motherfucking Emmy next year because she be doing her shit at this um at this character. She be doing her shit. I like and I love it. She is straight up funny like and then Johnny trying to get all buck with Sonny talking about if Sonny don't let Connie go, he gonna call the police and then gonna yell at Sonny talking about let her go now. I'm like, Johnny, where the fuck was all that buck and, and all that yelling and shit like that when Sonny had your ass draped up? Posted up on that table, beating your ass. Where was all that buck at then? I ain't see you bucking up at Sonny then. When he was busting that ass, I was I was yelling. I was yelling for Sonny to fuck him up again. I'm like, do you need a reminder? Don't let Sonny bust that ass again, fool. And this is why I don't like Dante working as a cop. And then there's a mob situation going on because. It's a conflict of interest, but I can understand why this time around, I would like for Dante to handle this Joe Scully situation because Jason got bigger fish to fry getting his son back. That's bigger fish to fry. He ain't got time to be dealing with Joe Jr. and his bullshit. We ain't got time for that nonsense. Um, We'll let the cops handle it this time around. Dante need to have a little bit more faith in Jason. Talking about is this a diversion to... um. Get, to get me to go looking in the wrong direction so you could kill Joe Jr. Bitch, shut up. He don't need no diversion. If he wants to kill him, he'll kill him. Tracy need to open up her fucking eyes. Joe Jr. is a pig. He wants you for your money. I don't believe he's sincere. Anyway, I hope everybody have a great day. I'll see y'all all tomorrow. I'm out. Team Todd and Carly.